regular job requires you to be at work to make money, affiliate marketing offers you the ability to make money while you sleep. By investing an initial amount of time into a campaign, you will see continuous returns on that time as consumers purchase the product over the following days and weeks. You receive money for your work long after you are finished. Even when you're not in front of your computer, your marketing skills will be earning you a steady flow of income. Individual sellers and companies offering products or services have to deal with their customers and ensure that they are satisfied with what they have purchased. Thanks to the affiliate marketing structure, you'll never have to be concerned with customer support or customer satisfaction. The entire job of the affiliate marketer is to link the seller with the consumer. The seller deals with any customer complaints after you received your commission from the sale. If you're someone who hates going into the office, affiliate marketing is the perfect solution. You'll be able to launch campaigns and receive revenue from the products that sellers create while working from the comfort of your own home. This is a job that you can easily do without getting out of your pajamas. With other jobs, you could work an 80 hour week and still earn the same salary. Affiliate marketing is purely based on your performance. You'll get from it what you put into it. Honing your reviewing skills and writing engaging campaigns will translate directly to improvements in your revenue. You'll finally get paid for the outstanding work that you do. There are a few different types of affiliate marketers. The first is influencers. An influencer is an individual who holds the power to impact the purchasing decisions of a large segment of the population. This person is in a great position to benefit from affiliate marketing. They already boast an impressive following, so it's easy for them to direct their consumers to the seller's products through social media posts, blogs, and other interactions with their followers. The influencers then receive a share of the profits that they help create. The second is bloggers. With the ability to rank organically in search engine queries, bloggers excel at increasing a seller's conversions. The blogger samples the product or service and then writes a comprehensive review that promotes the brand in a compelling way, driving traffic back to the seller site. The blogger is then rewarded for his or her influence, spreading the word about the value of the product, helping to improve the seller sale. For example, my article on the best email marketing software includes product reviews and affiliate links throughout. Then we have the paid search focused microsites. Developing and monetizing microsites can also garner a serious amount of sales. These sites are advertised within a partner site or on the sponsored listing of a search engine. They are distinct and separate from the organizer's main site. By offering a more focused, relevant content to a specific audience, microsites lead to an increased conversion due to their simple and straightforward call to action. Then we have email lists. Despite its older origins, email marketing is still a viable source of affiliate marketing income. Some affiliates have email lists that they use to promote the seller's products. Others may leverage email newsletters that include hyperlinks to products, earning a commission after the consumer purchases the product. Another method is for the affiliate to build an email list over time. They use their various campaigns to collect emails, then send out emails regardless of the products that they are promoting. And finally, there are the large media websites. Designed to create a huge amount of traffic at all times, these sites focus on building an audience of millions. These websites promote products in their massive audience through the use of banners and contextual affiliate links. This method offers superior exposure and improves conversion rates, resulting in a top-notch revenue for both the seller and the affiliate. Here are some tips to grow your affiliate marketing business. First, start by developing a rapport with your audience. When beginning your affiliate marketing career, you'll want to cultivate an audience that has a very specific interest. This allows you to tailor your affiliate campaign to that niche, increasing the likelihood that you'll convert them. By establishing yourself as an expert in one area, instead of promoting a large array of products, you'll be able to market to the people that are most likely to buy the product. Choose products that you believe in. There is no shortage of products that you'll be able to promote. You'll have the ability to pick and choose products that you personally believe in. So make sure that your campaigns center around truly valuable products that consumers will truly enjoy. You'll achieve an impressive conversion rate while simultaneously establishing the reliability of your personal brand. 
You'll also want to get really good at email outreach to work with other bloggers and influencers. Use a tool like Contact Out or Voila Norbert to gather people's contact information and send personalized email to garner guest blogging and affiliate opportunities. Focus on reviewing products and services that fall within your niche. Then, leveraging that rapport that you have created with your audience and your stance as an expert, tell your readers why they would benefit from purchasing the product or service that you are promoting. Almost anything sold online can be reviewed if there is an affiliate program. You can review physical products, digital software, or even services booked online, like ride sharing or travel resort booking. It is especially effective to compare this product to others in the same category. Most importantly, make sure you are generating detailed, articulate content to improve conversions. Instead of focusing on just an email campaign, also spend time making money with a blog, reaching out to your audience on social media, and even looking into cross-channel promotions. Test a variety of marketing strategies to see which one your audience responds to the most. Make frequent use of this technique. And no matter how good you are with your marketing skills, you'll make less money on a bad product than you will on a valuable one. Take the time to study the demand for a product before you promote it. Make sure to research the seller with care before teaming up with them. Your time is worth a lot and you want to be sure you're spending it on a product that is profitable and a seller that you believe in. There is serious competition in the affiliate marketing sphere. You'll want to make sure that you stay on top of any new trends to ensure that you remain competitive. Additionally, you'll like to be able to benefit from at least a few of the new marketing techniques that are constantly being created. Be sure you're keeping up to date on all these new strategies to guarantee that your conversion rates and therefore revenue will be high as possible. Let's understand what a blog is. Blogs started out as a mix of what was happening in life and what was happening on the web a kind of hybrid diary news site. The word blog is a shortened version of web blogs. Besides being shorter and catchier, blog seems less likely to cause confusion, as web blog can also mean a server's log files. People maintained blogs before the term was ever coined, but the trend gained more momentum with the rise of automated published systems, most notably Blogger at blogger.com, which lowered the technical barrier to entry for formatting and organized posts now, self-hosted platforms such as WordPress offer new levels of functionality with a large ecosystem of talented designers and developers serving the very needs of millions of users. Despite its grassroots beginnings, blogging has become a popular platform for business, from companies trying to humanize their brand to solopreneurs seeking to make a full-time income online. But with increased opportunity comes increased competition and it takes more to stand out now than in the early days of blogging. Still, there are many more people online today, so the potential rewards are higher for bloggers who break through. So how can you start a blog? First, choose a topic that interests you. What will be the main focus of your blog? It's tempting to tackle multiple topics at once. However, it's probably easier to begin with one area that you have the most interest in. You don't wanna overwhelm yourself straight out of the gate. You can then create an account for yourself. Follow the prompts to create your account and your new blog. Based on the topics that you choose, pick a domain that tells readers what your blog is about. You can either create a free domain name that includes the name of the platform, or you can register a custom domain that doesn't mention the platform. Then choose a theme that matches the desired feel of your blog. Choose fonts, specify a color theme, Create a custom menu and upload a custom header image. Don't worry if you aren't settled on the visual aspects right away. You can always adjust that later. And finally, create attractive content and begin to publish. There are six different ways to make money from a blog. All these methods have been tested and thousands of bloggers are successfully implementing them to turn a profit. The first is advertising. Using advertisements is the most straightforward way to monetize a blog and also the most intuitive when you consider making money from a website in any capacity. Website ads. Website ads. Website ads primarily work in two different ways. They're selling your ad space directly to advertising agencies, or there's working with an advertising network, which will provide ads directly to you. The downside of the first option is that you're a relatively new and unknown website. Appealing to advertising agencies can prove a little difficult. 
Selling ads directly is only a viable solution for established sites with recognizable brands and a large audience. Working with an ad network solves this issue, as a network will find advertisers and provide you with some ready-made ads that you can then place on your site. In this scenario, you receive a cut of the advertising profits, and the network also gets a share. The basic idea behind affiliate marketing is this. You promote other people's products or services, and in return, receive commissions whenever your recommendations leads to sales. With affiliate marketing, no classic ads are involved. Instead, you're given personal links to use when promoting a product on your site. If your site visitors click on these labels and make a purchase, you get a commission. You are responsible for placing those links somewhere on your site. You can embed them within a blog post, along the sidebar, or wherever you prefer. Currently, the most popular affiliate program is Amazon's, which has a commission of 4%. And then they're selling your own products. Perhaps the most obvious way to monetize a blog is to sell a product that your customers can buy directly from you. Arguably, this is the best way to make money from a blog, as you keep the profits. If you have a business, then the product part is already taken care of. If not, focus on developing one. A good product can be a classic, tangible thing, like apparel or something digital, like an ebook, app, or photo. Once your product is ready, offer it as part of a bigger e-commerce store. Next, we have selling services. Selling a service is similar to selling a product, only instead of selling a thing, you're selling something that isn't intangible. Some examples of service that you might offer include graphic design, photography, copywriting, and consulting sessions. The technical setup for selling a service is the same process as product sales. And finally, we have sponsored content. This monetization method is about finding people who are willing to pay you for publishing content on their behalf. This can involve paid reviews, editorial pieces, branded publicity articles, and so on. Basically anything that can and in some way benefit a client who is paying for the content. This approach isn't necessarily for everyone. For this to be a viable option, your blog needs to have some authority in a niche space so that the brand is perceived value in receiving your publicity.